engines ever built was test fired under picture perfect conditions near Picayune today at the Stennis Space Center. As Rob Messon reports, it was the final test for one of the four engines that will be used to propel Artemis back to the moon with men on board next year. NASA lit the torch right on time just after noon. A test RS-25 rocket engine ran for about eight and a half minutes, the length of time it takes to push the largest rocket ever built into outer space. On the engine side, they'll, they'll look at their engine measurements and they'll say, okay, we predicted to be here, we were actually there plus or minus some amount, and we're comfortable that it performed like it was supposed to. Unlike previous Artemis missions, the engine that will be used to power the moon rocket next year is a brand new one, and it looks like this. As Ron Braun said uh, back in the 60s, if these booster engines don't do their jobs, the rest of the rocket and the astronauts never get a chance to do their jobs. NASA engineers and Boeing added 40,000 pounds of thrust to each engine, meaning all four will generate more than 2 million pounds of thrust for next year's launch. The test went the full 500 seconds as intended. There's no rocket fuel tank attached to that engine, so they brought in special barges filled with hydrogen and oxygen to run that engine for the full duration. Kennedy, compared to us, they have endless supplies of propellants. We're limited to three liquid hydrogen barges and three liquid oxygen barges. The four test stands at Stennis's 13,000 acre facility are massive up close and tower at more than 300 feet. They were built in the 1960s and have undergone extensive renovations to gear up for the rigors of Artemis testing. At the time that we took it over in, in 2010, it was in the mothballed state, so there's a lot of TLC that we needed, but uh, there's a lot of time, a lot of design, a lot of thought, and a lot of effort. We were allowed to be within a quarter mile of the test firing. It appeared to go off without a hitch. NASA and Boeing engineers will now go over data collected to see if anything needs tweaking. I mean, I've been doing this for 34 years. I never get tired of it. 300 NASA employees here and hundreds of contractors help make this test firing possible. From Stennis, Rob Manson, Fox 8 Local First. NASA says the four RS-25 engines can push an Artemis rocket at 73 times the speed of an Indy 500 race car. Pretty impressive.